So, welcome back to Selfies Fishing everybody. This episode is gonna be unboxing a new toy that I got. So this is the Spin Fisher 6, Penn Spin Fisher 6. I basically wanted to get a reel that I could use from the beach, from the boat, that was a fixed ball. So I've got other fixed balls, but they're a little bit small. They're mainly for lure fishing. Now, I didn't really wanna use my spinning reel because I've got quite a light line on that. So I wanted something a bit bigger that I could put on some heavy braid, fish from the beach, fish on the boat. My chosen choice of reel was the Pen Spin Fisher 6. Now, a couple of reasons for this. It's fully sealed, so you don't have to worry about corrosion. Now, some people don't care about this if you're fishing off a beach, but when you're fishing on a sieve, you see my videos, you see the spray comes over the front, you do get quite wet sometimes, especially if there's a bit of chop. So you need reels that are ideally fully sealed. If you don't have a fully sealed reel, obviously you still can fish with it, but there's more chance of it seizing up. Now, yeah, you can wash them down, but let's have a little look, shall we? This is the 6500, and it is the live liner version. So if we have a little look, first of all, obviously, you've got the reel. You get a little instruction manual. It also comes with a live liner drag adjustment. Drag adjustment? Drag adjustment key. See that there? And you get a diagram. Now, this is key if you want to take apart your reel and service it yourself. You need to know how to take it apart and put it back together. I've taken a few reels apart before, serviced them, had no idea how to put them back together. So, uh, yeah, make sure you keep that. And, yeah, in this, in this little manual, it tells you all about the lever. You get two actual little spaces which you can adjust the line lay. Pretty handy. So, yeah, it tells you how to look after it. And all the fancy stuff they've put in it. How does this fold up? There we go. So, on to the good stuff. Now, this reel, pretty heavy, but that's what you get for a reel that's built like a tank. Pretty shiny, eh? So this is a manual bail arm. On the smaller versions, they are automatic. So just to tighten up, you just spin it, there you go, pretty tight. It's pretty smooth to be fair. A lot of people moan about the spin fishers, the slammers, saying they're not as smooth as just the Shimano's, but to be honest, I prefer these, especially off the boat anyway. If I was fishing like light off the beach, sort of fishing rock marks, yeah, maybe I'd like a Shimano Stradic, something like that. Nice and light, very smooth, but we're not planning on doing that. It feels proper sturdy. Now yeah, quite heavy, but so I'm not too fussed about that. This is mainly going to be used for taupe fishing. And the main thing is basically I wanted to show you. So you've got four different settings on this lever. So you've got one, two, three, four. Now this adjusts how strong the drag is. Okay? So at the moment that's pretty pretty tough. If we put it up to the first one, you can see that's proper easy. So it's, fish isn't really going to feel that there's much on the line, which is exactly why I wanted it. When you're tote fishing, have your float out or your running ledger, whatever you want, and I want to just flick it down one, and I want the fish to be able to take line without really knowing it's hooked. So they can dart off with the bait, and then as soon as I'm ready to strike that fish, all I need to do, so you'll see it like this, all I need to do is reel in and boom, you're in, okay? That lever pops up and you're in straight away. That's pretty tough at the moment, I haven't loosened that off. But yeah, you're straight away in to a full set drag. So I'll show you that again. So you put the lever down one, like that. Fish can take line. Fish is darting off. Fish on, fish on. Reel in, boom. I'm in, I'm in. There you go, big tote. You know the deal. Right, fish on. So what we're gonna do, lift the rod up, and we've got this switch here, live liner. So you don't touch that, that's set. So now all I do, wait for the run, reel in. Fish on. 
There we go. Yes. Anyway, yeah, that's what I wanted it, pretty much. Um, I've got the Spin Fisher already, 3500 version. I've had it for three years, coming up to four, and yeah, it's decent. It's still, still working out. It's a bit battered, a bit scratched, but I used it on the kayak when I used to have a kayak. I've used it on my boat, I've used it off the shore, and yeah, it still works well. I think I serviced it once, pretty much it, um, and I'm really, really happy with it. So I just wanted to get something a little bit bigger that I can use mainly on the boat, live baiting, stuff like that. Perfect for live baiting using this. So if you want to adjust the, um, the live line of drag, so this is the top drag, front drag, if you want to adjust the live line of drag, you pop this cap off. Again, everything's sealed. This is why the cap's on there. Take the cap off, and then at the bottom, hopefully that focuses. At the bottom, you get your key, and you put it in the bottom, and it's pretty simple. Just adjust it. I thought it would be a little bit stiffer than that, but no, it's, it's nice and easy to turn. Pop your cap back on. Do it up nice and tight, and you're ready to go. So it says on here, 30 pound braid, you get 485 yards of line. 50 pound braid, you get 335 yards of line. This is the braid I'm gonna put on it, Reaction Tackle High Performance Braid. This is 65 pound braid, and it's got 300 yards. This was cheap braid off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I think, don't hold me to it, but I think it was about 12 pounds. 300 yards. Normally I go for like the J braid, stuff like that, suffix. That's what I have in all my lure reels. But I just wanted to try something a little bit cheaper. Obviously I'm not really going to be casting it, so I'm not too fussed about wind knots and stuff. Obviously I don't want wind knots, but I'm not too fussed because it's not a casting reel. It's put on your line, drop it down, and hope for a run type of reel. So yeah, I wanted to try some different braid. I've actually always wanted a nice blue braid as well. And I think that's gonna look unreal on that. So what we do is we spool this up onto the reel and uh, we have a little look. And there you go, the line's on it. Now I have actually used this reel. I went out yesterday fishing for taupe and uh, you probably saw the clip earlier in the video. And uh, yeah, had 10 taupe to the boat and the reel performed just so it should have so I'm really really happy with it so thanks for watching as always make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time